hi in this method i am going to deal with the muller method lot of students feel this is one of the difficult method in the numerical analysis to find out the um, root of the equation but uh, this is not actually muller method is a generalization of the second method instead of uh, starting with the two initial approximation muller method start with the three initial approximation to the root in second method we have seen that the root is estimated by projecting the straight line to x axis through two function values uh, but in muller method we taking a similar approach but uh, project a parabola through the three points see uh, in second method uh, if uh, this is the graph of the function and these are two initial approximation then we are projecting a straight line uh, through these two points then um, this straight line cuts the uh, x axis at this point then this is our required root estimation but in muller method if this is the graph of the function and these are the three initial approximation x0 x1 and x2 then we project a parabola to the, through this point and then this parabola cuts the x axis at this point this is our root estimation uh, in this method we find the root estimation um, by finding the coefficient of the parabola that goes through three points uh, three points means our initial guesses x0 x1 and x2 this coefficient can be substituted into the quadratic formula to obtain the point where the parabola intersects x axis that is the root estimation consider the equation of parabola through point x2 we want this parabola passes through the three points um, uh, these three points that is x0 uh, comma f of x0 x1 comma f of x1 and x2 comma f of x2 as seen in a graph the coefficient of x1 can be evaluated by substituting each of these three points to give <coughs> as uh, this uh, parabola passes to these three points then uh, uh, these three points satisfy this equation we are just putting the value f of um, uh, as our parabola is p of x substitute x0 x is equal to x0 then we get uh, this equation name this equation uh, second equation uh, put uh, x is equal to x1 we get another equation put uh, x is equal to x2 we get another equation but if you are going to put x is equal to x2 then uh, these values are 0 and uh, we get c is equal to p of x2 that is the value of a function at third guess this is the value of c where uh, next aim is to find a b and c and substitute here then we are solving the quadratic equation c um, uh, we are uh, we have to find the value of a b and uh, c for this uh, for this purpose subtract equation 5 from equation 2 and 3 uh, then we get p of x naught minus p of x2 is equal to a in bracket x naught minus x2 square plus b in bracket x2 minus x0 minus x2 as we are subtracting p of x2 which means uh, this value get 0 c minus uh, c minus c is uh, 0 because value of p of x2 is c uh, similarly p of uh, x1 minus p of x2 is equal to this uh, here also c becomes c minus c minus c becomes 0 uh, take h is equal to x1 minus x0 h1 is equal to x2 minus x1 delta naught is equal to p of x1 minus p of x0 upon x1 minus x0 delta 1 is equal to p of x2 minus p of x1 upon x2 minus x1 substitute this value in equation 6 and 7 and um, by using the simple algebraic calculation uh, we can find uh, a and b and c a is equal to delta 1 minus delta naught upon h plus 1 h plus h1 plus h0 b is equal to a h1 plus delta 1 and c is equal to p of x2 then we put this value in our uh, first equation that is equation number 1 uh, c our equation this we are substituting value only and then we are solving the quadratic equation we get x2 minus x3 minus x2 is equal to this and uh, x3 is equal to we are taking uh, this x2 to the right side uh, this is our root estimation uh, from equation 8 we get two roots uh, for this plus one we get one root and minus we get another root we get another root of but we will choose only largest denominator which will uh, give root estimation closest to the x2 uh, that is we are taking just uh, only biggest value of this uh, that is uh, if um, b plus uh, square root of b square minus 4ac we are calculating this and also this we are taking a bigger value only for the root estimation 
when the root x3 is uh, determined repeat the procedure uh, in the next iteration that is x1 x2 and x3 will take the place of x0 x1 and x2 in this way we can determine all the iterations here are the some advantages of the Mueller method it has the higher rate of convergence that is nearly 1.84 which is higher than the second method and bisection method as um, we are using the quadratic formula both the real and complex root can be located this is the main advantage of this method uh, this method have uh, some disadvantages also uh, too much calculation are involved in this uh, method and uh, we require three initial approximation in this method this is all about the Mueller's method in the next video related to the Mueller's method I'm going to solve the example related to the Mueller method if you like this video please uh, like and share it for more such videos subscribe to youtube channel www.youtube.com slash live mathematica if you have any doubt write in comment box video related to that topic will be uploaded as soon as possible or you can like a facebook page live mathematica post your doubt on page I will try to solve it in couple of days thank you